Hello and welcome to this tips and tricks video on discussing some of the licensing changes for ANSYS Mechanical at release 2021-R1. Over the course of the year 2020 and those releases, ANSYS transitioned their licensing structure for the mechanical products. The ANSYS Mechanical Enterprise, Premium, and Pro are the primary licenses used in the mechanical application. At 2020 and prior releases, these would show up as single increments in the license file. During this transition year, ANSYS is debundling these licenses and including a separate increment line in the license file for each individual product. Take, for example, the ANSYS Mechanical Enterprise license. At release 2020 and prior, we would see just an ANSYS increment in the license key. And this would invoke all the capabilities contained within an enterprise license. For example, space claim and the composite prep post and design explorer and the explicit basic products. At release 2020 R2 and beyond and this transition year, ANSYS is debundling these licenses. So what that means is we'll see a separate increment line for all of the applications that are contained within a base license. That's what we see here in the gray box below the license. So a mechanical enterprise user would have all of these capabilities as separate increments. Now one advantage of this is that all of these could be checked out separately. For example, a user could have space claim open and another user could have ANSYS Mechanical open while a third user has the explicit product open. So debundling allows all of these applications to be run separately. There are some changes, however, at the 2021 R1 release with regards to specifying licensing for use in the ANSYS Mechanical application. So just to illustrate this, we will toggle over to 2020R2 to take a look at where the licensing is set in prior releases. This was historically done from the Tools menu, License Preferences. Once this loads, we'll have a section for the solver, which is the mechanical product, and all of the mechanical products that are available for the mechanical application would be listed here. We also have the option to choose if a license should be shared between applications, that means one license could be shared between multiple mechanical windows with only one mechanical window being active at a time, or each time we launch a mechanical session or a mechanical window, we can pull a separate license. If we have multiple licenses, we could pull multiple and have multiple simulations running or meshing simultaneously. So this is how all of the uh, license preferences were set at 2020 R2 and older versions. At 2021 R1, this has been modified slightly. 2021 R1, ANSYS no longer requires the licensing interconnect. The interconnect was another layer of software that sat between the software products and the FlexLM license manager. And the interconnect handled the sharing or the exchange of the base license between different applications. So when the license was fully bundled together, when we launched space claim or mechanical, the license had to be transferred and shared between those applications. Because those licenses are now debundled, the interconnect is no longer needed. So we will now toggle over to 2021 R1 and take a look at where the licensing is set in this release. So two different locations where the licensing can be set. If mechanical is launched, and we'll go ahead and toggle over to mechanical, we can go to the file licensing section, and this will bring up a kind of a similar look and feel to the licensing preferences in prior releases. Here we can set the order of the license that will be checked out. In this case, we'll check out an enterprise license first, and if that's no longer available or it's being consumed by someone else, we'll pull a mechanical premium license and so on. So it's recommended to go in here and set this preference or this order uh, initially upon installing 2021 R1. Uh, the settings from prior releases will will migrate here, so if you have prior releases installed, those settings will migrate. One thing to keep in note is that these changes will only affect the next time Mechanical is launched. So it will not affect this particular session of Mechanical. So for that, if a license needs to be changed from the default, let's say you know that the default is Enterprise, but you're doing something basic and a Mechanical Pro license would be sufficient. Before launching into Mechanical, we can right click on the model cell and go to Properties. In the Properties pane, you'll see a License uh, section here, and you'll note that the default is to use License Preference. 
This is what would be set in the mechanical window that we just displayed. If we select this drop down, we can choose any number of the mechanical licenses that are supported. This will then override the default set on license preferences. Now, one last note, um, if we go to tools options, the sharing between application switch is now available in the tools options pane. So the default in my case is to pull a license for each mechanical application. However, if you're an account with a single license, you would likely want to share a license between mechanical applications when possible. This will exchange the license between mechanical sessions and only one could be active at a time. However, you could have multiple mechanical windows open and they would be placed in a read-only mode until the license is transferred to that application. So in summary, the license preferences has been modified at 2021 R1. This is to facilitate some of the changes in the licensing structure and the fact that the ANSYS licensing interconnect is no longer required because the licenses have been debundled. So it's recommended to go into mechanical upon the initial install and set the license preferences. And again, that is done from the file menu, licensing, set the order of the licenses, or in a particular session, if we want to override just for a particular analysis type or analysis, we can click on model, right click properties, and we can set the license there as well. So I hope you found this tips and tricks video on the licensing changes at 2021, R1, and beyond. Thanks for watching.